I have tasted cold clam chowder at 7.30 in the morning. And I'm telling you what, you gotta love this job to do that. I'm a senior flavor chemist. Yeah. So what exactly does flavor chemist do? You know, in the nuts and bolts of it, through all the hoopla, basically what I do is I make stuff taste good. You know, I have the coolest job in the world, I'm telling you. I got incredibly lucky, incredibly lucky. In 12th grade, my mom says to me, Joey, go to college, you gotta be somebody, you gotta do something with your life. I says, Ma, don't worry about it, I'm gonna be a rock star, I don't have to go to college. So she says, well, you better have a backup plan. So I said, Mom was right. You know, the rock star thing didn't work out so well. I ended up getting a job in a hospital and hated it. I stopped at General Foods on my way home, applied, and I got very lucky. I got a lab technician job. And they're like, you know, well, what do you know about flavor compounding? I says, I don't know anything about it. And they said, well, what do you know about spray drying? I don't know anything about it. I says, finally, I says, listen, buddy, you know what? I was drawing blood from some guy about an hour ago, and he died. <laughs> so. Not in the greatest of shape here. Uh, I said, but hire me for a week, and if you like my, you know, what I do, I'll stay on. If you don't like what I do, you don't have to pay me. So he said, really? He says, you got a lot of nerve, kid. And I said, you're right, I do. So I was there for 15 years. <laughs> I work on savory flavors. Uh, we, we train, when we, when we start out, we train very general. We learn all the chemicals, all the types of flavorings, and then we get specific as, as we get older. My specific area is, uh, is savory flavors. We make um, like chicken and beef flavors. You want, can I show you? Yeah. Like, for example, this is, like, this is the beef flavor. I'm gonna open this up. I hope this don't freak you out. It's not too bad, but it's, it's, it's like strong smelling, all right? So this is a beef flavor, you know, that we would use for like a soup or you can smell it. It's not that bad. Right? No, it's not bad, yeah. not bad at all. And uh, this would be like a, a chicken flavor. Well, I'm going to tell you about that. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, you know, you taste it in dilution, all right? Well, I was told this way back when, a full head of hair ago, when I worked at General Foods, that if you were somehow able to harvest all the strawberries off every farm in the world, if you somehow could do that, there would not be enough strawberries to make one year's worth of, like, a gelatin dessert. So, I mean, that's where we come in. Oh. This is vanilla. It's vanillin. Okay. All right? Should taste, you know, typical. Like, like, very light. Very light, very sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. So this would be the basis in uh... vanilla flavors, uh, chocolate flavors. Oh. Uh, yeah, it goes in if you want to take a strawberry flavor and sweeten it up, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. This is etomoltol. Okay. Cotton candy, brown sugar. You know. They taste similar. Kind they of. taste similar. To me, they're not meant for this business. These chemicals, it's kind of like having a closet full of shirts and a closet full of pants. And in this closet, you have a bazillion shirts, and in this closet, you have a bazillion pants, and they're all different colors. There's a lot of combinations that you can make, right? Well, that's what our chemicals are like. So, you know, they're like that, that, uh, they're like that shirt and pant closet. There are certain nuances in each chemical. Each chemical has a, a, a major role and a supporting role. So the major role for cherry would be like benzaldehyde, right? Whereas a supporting mole for cherry might be isoamyl acetate or eugenol or something that you may not, you may not think of. Mm -hmm. But it's very creative because like, you know, for us, beauty is in the taste buds of the beholder. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, what you might think tastes great, somebody else might say, wow, that's, that's not what I was dreaming of at all. Hi, we're the Discovery News video team and we want your videos. Your science videos to be exact. So if you're a student doing experiments at home or a researcher in the field and if you have a camera you can capture those experiments and upload them to our website. It's pretty easy. Here's how you do it. Just go to this website below dfc.discovery.com slash news slash sidewalk science. And if they get our Bunsen's burning, we will put them online and you will be recognized for the mad genius you really are. That's all I have to say.